Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. We continue looking at the healing power of returning to God, and our scripture today comes from Job 22, verse 23. We hear the voice of God speaking to us, if you return to the Almighty, you will be restored if you remove unrighteousness far from your tent. It's taken me a long time in my journey to reflect on the meaning of restoration. It was, in fact, when someone pointed out the restoration in somebody else's life that I began to see the ways that God does indeed faithfully when we return to God, restore, reconstruct, reassemble the pieces and the parts of our life if we are patient and faithful enough to believe. So many times when we have wandered from God, so many times when our hearts have grown grown cold, we believe that the very difficult place that we stand is as good as it's ever going to get. And yet over and over and over in, in Scripture, God promises to us a level of restoration, a level of being restored, being made new, being rebuilt. One of the hardest parts of wandering is the way in which the voices in our heads convince us that there is no way home. And yet God so clearly says to Job and to so many others, if you return to me, you will be restored. And particularly if you remove unrighteousness from your tent. There can be a vicious circle that moves in our minds. We find ourselves far from God. We don't know how we got there or we're angry about the circumstances that have led us to that place. And so we believe that we have no option but to stay there. And in fact, in our resistance, in our anger, in our frustration, we continue to walk and talk and delve into things that are not righteous, things that God would not have us to do. And yet God reminds Job and God reminds us that returning to God is our promise of being restored and that it is our responsibility in the returning to move away from the unrighteousness, to literally kick it out of our tent, to make clean the spaces that we inhabit. We've returned from vacation as a family, and one of the things I have appreciated about my daughter is that in the last couple of days, she has spent hours cleaning her room. It's almost as if her heart is returning to a new stage, a new chapter, and part of marking that is cleaning out her space. God invites us to the same kind of cleaning. Clean your heart of unbelief. Clean your heart of a lack of faith, clean your heart such that as you return to God, you can literally receive the restoring blessing that God has. I am so grateful that God's word anticipates the pitfalls in my own journey and points me to the practical things that I'm called to do each day. God, we're grateful, first of all, that there is always a way to return that you have given us choice, not just once, but ongoing, the ability to choose to return to you. God, we're grateful that in returning to you, we find our restoration, we find a rebuilding of our lives, of our hearts, of our faith. Thank you, God, for being steady when we are wayward. And most of all, God, thank you for giving us the word the suggestion, the call to clean what is around us, that in our returning, we might be open to what you have for us. Clean our hearts today, God. Hear our desire to come home and restore us. In Jesus' name, amen.